Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to show honey powder. Cat's Cradle told us about a sale they were having, so I picked up a case of honey powder. So today we're going to reconstitute it and we're going to have some pancakes. So I thought that would be really good on it. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to slowly add one quarter cup of cold water to one cup of honey powder. Mix well, heat mixture on low to dissolve sugars. And then place in a covered jar and cool. Use as you would fresh honey. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put one cup of honey powder in this little saucepan. And remember when you're measuring, use a dry measure for dry and a wet measure for wet. And as you see, just like Kat said, the can is half full. So it's sold by weight, not by quantity. And then a quarter cup of water. I'm going to mix it up. And then we're just going to heat it to dissolve. I'm going to put it on medium heat. And I'll get back to you when it starts to heat up. While we're waiting for this to heat up, I thought I'd go over some information on the can. You can use this as a substitute for sugar. You can use it as a substitute for honey. If you're going to use it in a recipe, um, I would not necessarily add liquids. But I would just, you know, like if, if you're going to use a, this calls for a third a cup, I wouldn't add any liquids. If I was going to make a whole cup, I would increase the water by a quarter cup. So, one to four ratio. Alright, for every cup, add a quarter cup of liquid. I would not store this in this can because on the back here it has a 30 year shelf life, but the ideal humidity is 15%. The humidity will not only rust your cans, but it'll clump your powder inside. So, you would want to put this in canning jars. And it'll last a whole lot longer than one year once open. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll probably put it in my half gallon jar. Another use for those. So we're making pancakes today. So what I've taken is my bacon bits I got at Costco. I keep in a mason jar. They're good shelf life storage items. And so I've added a couple tablespoons of bacon grease to it and heated it up in the microwave and oh the only reason I've added the bacon grease is to give it that fresh flavor plus I didn't want to heat up the bacon without something in it because I didn't want to dry it out for the pancakes as you can see we're making pretty good progress I've got it on low heat but it's still not clear which tells me the sugars are not yet dissolved so I will keep cooking this and tell you how long it took when I'm done Okay, we're back. Allow the honey to come to a boil and then remove from heat and as it cools it gets thicker and thicker. It's still pretty warm because I want it more like syrup. But I've got one cup of honey. Isn't that beautiful? And we have bacon pancakes. Let me zoom you in. Oh, first I put it in my half gallon mason jar. And with one cut more, you're going to have plenty of room. So on the label, I put what it is, what, how you reconstitute it, and the date. And then I keep inside any directions I think might be relevant in the future. So there we go. So let's zoom you in and pour some honey on these bacon pancakes. And it really tastes just like honey. Yes, I have a sweet tooth. Let's try it with bacon pancakes. Mmm. Oh. 
heavenly. Get yourself some honey powder for your shelves. Blessings. <laughs>